Hi guys and welcome to A Fountain of Books. Today we're going to be talking about my January 2020 TBR. That's scary to say and that's kind of crazy to say. Um, but yeah, stay tuned if you want to know what I'm reading. Okay, yeah, so in my 2020 goals video, I told y'all that I was only going to be choosing three books besides my Buddy Read with Becky. Um, I don't think I mentioned that in that video. I do not count my Buddy Read with Becky in my TBR. Um, that's something totally different. I get that done easily every day. My 50 pages is no problem. I knock those out and done. Um, so that doesn't count in my three books. My three books are three books I'm choosing to read by myself. Um, and then my 2021 uh, picks as well. Um, yeah, so this video is actually not going to include the books I'm reading with Becky. I will leave in the description which one we're on and which ones we're, we're going to get to. In the month of January, I'm filming this actually early. I'm doing some free filming today and so I don't know what we're going to be able to get to and what we won't be able to get to. But I do have my TBR for January, so I'm going to go through that with y'all. Um, I'm missing one. Did I only choose? Okay, sorry. I thought I was missing one. I only chose two um, just to make sure I can get to them all or whatever. Um, so what I've chosen for my TBR, I've only chosen two this month instead of three um, because I'm, I'm starting to... January and we're just gonna be crazy and I know it um, already coming up they've already warned us that like we have blackout times and stuff I mean we can't take time off so I don't want to load myself down too too heavily um, so I am picking up only two what my first one I'm picking up is Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff if you don't know what this is this is the third book in Illuminae series Illuminate is about a girl named Katie. Cat Katie. I'm right, Katie. Go me. Um, Katie and she lives on a basically a far off planet and it gets attacked by a company and she has to leave the planet onto a ship and it's basically a fight for her life. Um, on this ship and a lot of stuff goes down. Oh, they're so good. These books are what I would consider multimedia. So it's told in, hold on, I'm trying to find a good page to show y'all. Um, hmm. Da, 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 da. Oh, come on. There it is. There's a good one. Um, so it's told in like picture format, picture format and stuff and like reports and everything and some pages are like in circles, completely blacked out and stuff. Um, this is the third one. I have read the second one. The second one broke my heart, spit it out <laughs> and chewed it up. Um, and I'm ready for the third one. I, it's time. Um, I, in my series, I need to finish. This was on there because I said I was going to finish before 2020. I didn't get to it. I know I'm not going to get to it. Um, and so it's time it's time to get this done they're usually a really quick read for me about two two or three days i'm done um i will probably be i don't own illuminate yet so i'll probably be buying illuminate and rereading it because your girl needs all three in her collection and i need to annotate all three considering i found that if you want to annotate on the like black pages a gel pen in like um I have a gold one and a silver one work wonders on the black paper you can actually read it so if you want to annotate that's a good note um, i'm going to annotate this one i annotated gemina which is the second one so yeah definitely gonna get this done in january and then my other one for january the only other one on my tbr is a big one um it is a reread and it again it's time i have not read this in years and i felt like okay it's time i i need it in my life let's do it and that is The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Um, mine has gold, you can actually see it, it's kind of exciting. It has gold pages that I spray painted it myself. Um, I did the gold um, edges myself. And so 
yeah, this is just one of those that I loved it when I first read it and I just never reread it and I want to. Um, I'm ready to learn about it again because honestly guys, I don't remember. I know it's an alien race that inhabited the brain and like were in the head of a girl who, Melanie I believe her name is, am I right? Go me, I'm right. Melanie who keeps her consciousness while the aliens like controlling her body or whatever. That's all I remember and I'm excited about it. The only other thing for my TBR video today is it's time to choose the first the first book out of the cup of TBR, which I'm super super excited for. Um, if you don't if you didn't miss if you missed my goals, um, my 2020 goals video, this is a the this holds 21 books I want to read before 2021. They are unread books on my shelves. They are books I have not had a chance to either get to or I'm putting off for whatever reason. Um, only one of them is one I've already read, but I was gifted the second one and, for my birthday, and so I want to make sure I get the first one reread before I read the second one. Um, so yeah, we're gonna actually draw now. I'm going to play, make sure all of them are mixed up. Okay, I think I got one, so let's see what it is. I got... Oh, I got Those Girls by Chevy Stevens. Is it, da, 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 I think it may be behind me. Let me look. Is it, oh yeah, it is, cool. Let me grab that, hold on. Okay, so here it is. Nothing fell on my head, gratefully for me. Um, Chevy Stevens, Those Girls by Chevy Stevens. I believe this is, Life has never been easy for the three Campbell, Campbell sisters. Jesse, Courtney, and Danny live on a remote re ranch in the rest in western Western Canada, where they work hard and try to stay out of the way of their father's temper. One night, a fight gets out of hand, and the sisters are forced to go on the run, only to get caught in an even worse nightmare when their truck breaks down in a small town. As the events spiral out of control, they find themselves in a horrifying situation and are left with no choice but to change their names and cre create new lives. 18 years later, they're still trying to forget what happened that summer, but one of, when one of the sisters goes missing, followed closely by her niece, they are pulled into the past, and this time there's nowhere left to run. That just sounds good. Um, I know where this one came from. This was a half price books book run with my best friend and we just happened I say just happened um this was on I believe it was in the adult section and I read the synopsis and thought that sounds good I'll go home and read it and I never picked it up again so this is now added to my TBR um again I am adding also the House of Nights books that I'm reading with Becky to my TBR um and we'll see where that leaves us because I do need to um, wait to see where we get to in December. But yeah, I will I will definitely leave in the description which book we're on for the house of night and how many we should get through. We are doing about a book a week. So we should get through two more, which would be Awakened and I think Destin. So we're going to probably be on Hidden, which is actually right beside me. Um, we're probably going to be on Hidden for the month of January, I'm going to say, based on how we're reading. So this will also be added, plus whichever ones are after it. There's two more after this one. But these are the books that are on my TBR for January. Um, if you want to hear my thoughts on any of these or um, like my content, just subscribe and I will see y'all later.